Hi, I'm Paul Gannon. Today we're going to take you through Form 3 of our curriculum. It's quite a, a short form, done a few moves in it, but really good sparring techniques and combinations. Now, um, usually we're going to start off in our guarding stance, elbows in, chin down here. Uh, and you always have to be working this so you're not up here with your chin exposed, you're um, lifting the shoulder and your chin's down here. And it's almost like you're looking towards the ground, but your eyes are forward. Now, we're going to start off here with simply a jab and a cross here. Very simple, jab, cross. But what we're going to do then is step our back foot up here, lift the knee for the round kick. Okay? Then off the other leg, we're going to fire a second round kick to finish the combination. So there's only four moves in this. But the, um, the round kick, as we said before, we want to perfect that from our front and our back leg and different heights. It's our most useful kick. So, we've got jab here off the left hand, cross. And I see I'm covering as I'm doing the uh, cross. So it's jab, I'm covering here with my right hand, cross, I'm covering here with my left hand. And we've obviously got our knees a little bit bent. So when we do the step, we don't want to step up here. We want to keep the same level. So as we go jab, cross, we step up, and we keep the same level. Lift the knee, fire the front leg round kick. That can be to the body or the head, and then simply a back leg round kick. We're turning in, pointing the knee, firing the kick. Remember, we have to point that knee first. So, let's do that from another angle. So you can see from the side. So chin down, elbows in. We jab here, cover the right hand. Cross, cover the left hand. I'm gonna slide up. As I slide up, I'm turning my hips into it, getting my knee nice and high for the round kick to the head in that case. And then the back leg, I'm going to keep momentum going, knee up, round ass kick to the body maybe. So, again, it's jab, cross, slide up, round house kick off the left, the front leg, back leg, round house kick off the right leg. Let's show you from another angle, here. Again, my left foot's in front, my hips are forward, I'm not side on at all when I start my punches. I'm going jab, cross. I slide up heel to heel. I'm not stepping in front of my foot, I slide up heel to heel here. As I, as I slide up, my knee comes up for the kick. And then I just turn into it for the second kick. Let me show that with a partner, how we would sparring. So, we've got Lewis over here. He's got his head guard on, which you should always have in class when you're sparring. So, we get a pretty short combination. You could use this jab, cross, round kick, round kick all the time. It's not too long, and um, you can certainly uh, set people up with the jab and the cross and set up your kicks quite easily. So, from here, because we're going to do these two. Um, the jab and cross probably high, so we're going to go one, two. Now, we're going one, two. We're then going to slide up here, fire the front leg round kick. Again, we're going to assume he's moving back. If he didn't move back, I wouldn't throw another kick. Um, I'd throw a punch or I'd clinch up. So he's moving back a little bit here. And then we can finish off here with maybe a leg kick up here to his thigh. So, let's do that again. So we've got jab, cross, slide up, fire the roundhouse kick, and then he moves back. Now, even if he doesn't move back, actually, I can still um, do a leg kick, or can step to the side and leg kick here. So, one more time from this angle. We've got our jab, cross, slide up, scud to the top of the head, and then if he's moved back a bit, we may be throw another high kick here. Let's do that from another angle. So if my partner's over here. He's got his left foot in front, same as myself. As I said before, I like to do um, kicks towards the belt line here because he has to react. Um, kicks towards the back, his elbow's in, so it's going to catch his arm or his shoulder. So I like to do front leg kicks. They're not really powerful like back leg kicks, but so you can get your partner's guard moving. So other moves. So from here, he's a little bit closer. We've got our jab and our cross here. Our jab and our cross. We slide up his back heel, lifting that knee, 
bang and high kick. From here, if he doesn't move back, we can step out slightly and pull a low kick. Uh, we'll do that combination again this time, changing the height of the punches. So, I've got a jab, I can further punch to the body of course. I can slide up, then fire the high kick, he moves back a little bit again. I can find another high kick here. So, thank you Lewis. That's, um, uh, that form is really cool, practice it a lot. We'll use it in sparring. Uh, the front hand punches and the front leg kicks, I think you'll get a lot of benefit from. I look forward to seeing you next time on the next video. Bye.